So this is the wheel with the bed. And uh, if you don't have this kind of bed, because uh, the, the circle is smaller, so it's easier for you to find your, your center. But for, for our bed there, it's very hard, right? So you could probably use a pencil to draw circles before you place your part. So you, it's easier for you to find the center. It's very, very, it's very important to put place your cylinder in the center. If not in the center, it's, it's going to be super hard. Okay, so that's uh, and also you want about your piece to uh, slightly stick onto your bed, okay, onto your bed. So I would uh, add a little bit of a water here. All right, so that looks fine. And I will probably just get some clay. I told you that the additional clay from the edge to stick further onto the bed. And uh, if your bed is made of wood, this is plastic. We have also a plastic bed, but we also have a wooden wooden bed. You could probably uh, get a sponge and wet your bed. So your bed is wet, and then roll the coil, and then use the coil to hold it. Okay. The wood, it's if you add water to it, it's probably absorb water absorbed by the wood quickly. So you probably won't be able to stick your part very firm on the wheel. So. That's another way. Uh, just wet, uh, wet your, uh, wet your wooden, wooden bed. Okay, wooden bed. You could uh, also do it directly onto the wheel head, which is metal, so it's non-porous. Okay, but when you do it, make sure your hand doesn't want uh, bump into the uh, the nuts here. Okay, bump into your hand. Probably you want because all you need to do is. Just put your hand inside, but make sure that your other hand doesn't bump into that. Okay. Right now, and just grab a piece of sponge, and you are going to just do it slowly. And first thing you want to do is add in water, okay, a little bit of water, on the inside of a cylinder to get it slippery. And uh, just slowly spin the wheel and slightly push, apply pressure. You see that my hand is pushing that, the wall, stretching it out. It's, it's kind of like a throwing on the wheel, but without trying to lift your, your cylinder, it's using the slap wheel method to, to lift, lift your, your cylinder. And there's no counter pressure, so There's no counter pressure on the outside, just the inside hand is doing the um, pushing. And if you, you want it to be a uh, not a, not as uh, okay, this part here is slightly coming off. So that uh, the pressure for that is very important. And if you want to, you doesn't want to, you uh, this cylinder to be nice and symmetrical. You could probably just use a hand and then do whatever the stretching, right? whatever the stretching so that it's not a not uniform like a perfect circle right just use the wet sponge on the inside and stretch that the wall out 
you can use the bending wheel. That's why I told you that you can either use the uh, electric wheel or the bending wheel to do that. Yeah, uh, the bending wheel you might want to find the heavier one. So once you spin, that the wheel can keep on spinning. If you uh, just do that, you could do that too, right? Just use one hand to spin the wheel and the other hand to uh, stretch on the inside. Yeah, you can do that too. Right. But uh, if you want to be more uh, symmetrical, maybe uh, just slowly spin the wheel so that and slowly stretch it out so your, your wall will be more symmetrical. But if you choose not the uh, to a symmetrical, then you can just stretch it. Free, free, free hand stretching, right? Right. So I see that you you blow out the uh, the foam. You could do the shorter one, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so yeah yeah you could decide uh, what the what the size you, what the size you want to do. Um, do the shorter one, do a larger one, okay. and do a thicker one. Yeah, you could do that as long as uh, you, your hand can go in there and uh, stretch it out. Yeah. Yes. You can stretch it, uh, but, but uh, you see that the, the joint is, is the important part. That this one has been uh, stretched on too much, so it's stretched. Yeah, you can see that there's a gap there. So I will probably stop right here, and uh, later I could add up a piece of uh, a coil there to patch it. Okay. Uh, and for now, I don't want to keep on stretching it. It will ruin the... Uh, Yeah, you could uh, you could uh, through the top, right? And you see that the uh, the the top you could uh, just do it again. The spin it slowly, right? And um, you can compress compress your your rim. And also, if you want to turn this into a picture, okay? So there's another way for turning it into the picture. Like this part here, I, I would like to disguise the uh, same line. So I will probably put my handle here, right? So I will put the spout on the front. So for the, uh, the picture, you could define what is the size you want it to of the picture, the width, right? By holding your finger slightly wider or slightly smaller, okay? Like this is my width up the, the spout. And a little bit water, right? And just grab the wall and then stretch it, push it out. Uh, right? So that is how you uh, pull out, stretch out your spout. So you turn it into a picture and then uh, add the handle. I will add a handle later on okay, to show you. But this part here, I will, start, I will try to uh, patch it because this, it's the, the joint wasn't that good. That's why it got split. So make sure that you do a good job on it. Compressing it, compressing it. Would you let it harden a little bit? I would let it harden a little bit, and uh, yeah, before the clay completely dry, you can always add more clay, additional clay to to make it slightly thicker or patch it up mm -hmm. or attach the parts together. Yeah. And would you patch that up from the inside, or would you actually put a little? Uh, I would uh, probably patch on both sides. Both sides. Yeah, both sides. Yeah. So we have additional clay 
on the corner. On. We'll use the wooden knife. You have a knife on the uh, basic kit and Shut it off. Okay. Yeah, and then it looks almost like you're throwing on the wheel, but uh, on the wheel, you won't be have able to have this nice pattern on the outside. That is that is what this project is all about. Get put in the texture on the outside, and people will be amazed. How do you uh, put all the? Uh, <laughs> did you uh, carve it or you yeah. have? <laughs> right. So. That's that's the basic idea of doing the texture on the outside. Okay, so I will patch it up and I'm ready to attach the handle. I will show you how to attach. You already know, but uh, I will show you how I finish it. Just make sure the handle is straight to line up with the spout. And I put the hand inside to support it while you are compressing it. So I put the handle on the uh, seam line to kind of cover it up, right? <laughs> yep, and uh, later you could just add a coil to reinforce that. And if you wanted to, you can also add a coil there in the, the joint. And I will wait a little bit further. So this part here, I'm going to use a needle to smooth it out. But now it's a little bit too wet to do. Yeah, a little bit drier, and you can do that. Yeah. 